My father says that only pure bloods like us should be at Hogwarts. Don't you agree? Yes, not. Draco's down here. He's been looking for you. Yeah, this is obviously a stealth section for later on when we're getting out. So you don't need to sneak around at all. So we're just diving here. There is a chest in here, but you can only get it at the very end of term. It's an incendio chest, but this room, the dungeons are locked off at all times except tonight and the last day of term. Which is completely stupid, but there we go. I'll just you run over here and talk to Malfoy. I'm surprised the Daily Prophet hasn't reported what's going on here. I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. He'll be sacked if it doesn't stop soon. Father's always said old Dumbledore's the worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. He loves that non-magical lot. A decent headmaster would never have let that jumped up Granger mudblood in. And as for Saint Potter, the mudblood's friend, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's the Slytherin heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. Oh! <gasps> You must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I have and a slow Goyle. voice that sounds so much more like Harry Potter than Goyle. But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. Oh, I am the Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco. I thought the apologies for the potion was supposed to only last one hour, where? that's barely lasted five uh, minutes. To the hospital wing. Yes. That's it. The hospital wing. I've got a stomachache and I need to get something for it. If I went any Get slower than I would have actually have died. Fat belly explodes. Now look at that. His hand Best pushes out like it. that, and, and he would have seen, Malfoy would have seen uh, the the red of Gryffindor. So why didn't he raise the alarm? And he would have seen it when Harry walked through the door. I just don't understand it. Unless Malfoy turned around and looked the other way to go into the Slytherin common room. I don't know. Anyway, now it's the stealth section. Hold on a second. I need Defendo here. Of course, now it's a completely new stealth section. As you can see, I've got three potion vials. So I need to fill up the new one. But now, of course, it's a stealth section. So hold on, we'll cast a spell there. What was that? I must have been hearing things. Prefects take a completely unnecessary long route to get there. The Pendo! I'm oh, sure there's someone mistake. sneaking around here. Right, where have you gone? I'll just dive around that? here. I must have been hearing things. Look at that. I have found too much difficulty. And all the prefects will return to their normal zone. That music starts up for no reason again because where the prefect said something. You can go back in there and get caught as much as you want, but I'm not going to this because I want to progress with the game. I'm sure there's someone sneaking around here. I'm just gonna cast that spell for it. Hey! You! Hey, you! Just cast lots of hey. spelly armor spells to stop and casting the hey. curses on you. Hey, you! Hey! They're following me around everywhere just to get at me. Spelly armor! Hey! Hey, you! Locomotor Mortis! They freeze halfway through trying to stand up straight again, but oh well. Yeah, most of the time just casting a spell and running for your life is the best choice here. But now I've got to go back to the girls' toilets for no reason, and apparently Ron is now there. This is a very short night mission, you don't have to do very much. And your your day and it's not as long as the previous night where it was 
ridiculously long. About an hour's length, not three quarters of an hour or something. But we didn't even need to use that before it's that time. I mean, most of the night missions at Hogwarts, oh shit, I'm going to wait. Uh, most of the night missions you do actually involve a spell you've just been learnt that day. But this is like the only night mission where you d don't need to use the Abbey Force spell at all. It's just a simple sneak and get out mission. That's all it is. After I've been recording for nearly an hour now, so I better stop soon. I don't think there are any Abbey Force rocks around anywhere in this school. Except the one in the library. Well, um, it isn't him. Malfoy's not the heir of Slytherin. Oh, <laughs> he must be. Who else could it be? I don't know, but it's got to be someone who was here at Hogwarts 50 years ago, when the chamber was last opened. Well done, Harry. You did a great job. See you, you actually did a piece of shit. So no, right. I'm already holding up ahead looking at it. It's a waste of fucking time. As you can see, all those spiders are coming from that sink area, so that must be meaning something important. But I think we should just. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna go outside and get a bigger and a giant bean bag again, so we can get all our beans back. But I think I'll save. I won't show you getting that. I won't show you me getting that. So I'll see you probably. The next day, I think, and we will be learning Incendio and doing a second Quidditch match. The Incendio spell charge is epically long and annoying. But then we can go and start exploring for more wizard cards then, I think. So, I think we'll leave it for there. So, thank you for watching section 6 of this Harry Potter and the Chamber Secrets Let's Play. I'll be getting these videos edited, uploaded, and along with the section 5 videos and um, they should appear on my channel sooner or later so thank you for watching and I hope you're enjoying this let's play because I'm taking up a lot of my time to do this so I hope you're enjoying it so see you in the next section which is going to be the Incendio Spell Challenge bye <laughs>